we're gonna go this way. And hopefully, there's no dragons there to kick my ass this time. There's a Stormcloak face right there, huh? Interesting. to mark the location. Well, there was one good thing and I completely f favorited the wrong thing. I got a nice ebony war axe out of it. I don't want that. There we go. Got my weapon situated. Go with the bow. Did I have an enchant on my bow? Oh, shock damage. Oh, here's a cave. Should be getting out of this snowy region and entering the Riften Hold area shortly. Are you finished ogling the grotesque? I suppose I should be grateful to see you. Oh, please. I'm probably a more powerful adventurer than you. Let's see, what do I... Hmm. Probably throw that on. Alright, we're getting close. There goes a wolf. I'll take these wolf pelts. Hey look, a uh, random home in the middle of nowhere. Alchemist Shack. Nope, nothing. All right. Search end table. Eh? I'll take the gold. I know I need one more nightshade. This fire, not bad. I don't need any more death bells. And that's a moose. It's like I hear footsteps. Where are they coming from? Yeah. I was getting afraid by a moose. There 
we go. Alrighty. I'm definitely in the Riften area now. I'll go that way. I'm going to go this way in the direction of where I need to go. I, for one, frankly, don't feel like dealing with many creatures. Okay. Um, skies look clear. I think I'm safe. Hallelujah. What's that supposed to mean? I have to wonder. What does the dragonborn do once he's summoned by the dragon? Oh, I'm about to find out. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? Mostly food supplies like dried fish and salted meats. You know, things that keep fresh for a long time. The Greybeards tend not to get out much, if you catch my meaning. Well, it's kind of an understanding between us. I mean, it just wouldn't feel right to charge them for a bit of preserved food. Trouble is, my legs aren't what they used to be. Really? I'm going up there anyways. Here, take this bag of supplies. At the top of the steps, you'll see the offering chest. Just leave the bag inside, and you're done. Not today. I'm just not ready to make it fly to high rock. Alright, here we go. The seven of thousand steps. Birth the before the birth of men, dragons ruled all of Mundus. The words was the voice, then they spoke only for true needs. Where the voice could blot out the sky and flood the land. Interesting! Come on. Alright, fuck you, troll. Like I said, screw you. I am not in the mood for your games. Alright, take it slow so I can heal. It's like Goat Central up here. This is a long way up. Hey, another one of these stone thingies. What does it say? Keep an eye. Men were born and spread over the face of Mundus. Dragons were spread over the crawling masses. Men were weak then and had no voice. If you're headed up the path, cross guard. So basically what I'm getting is these tablets tell the history of the world. There we go. Bear down, bear down. Take the pelt.
That was kind of uh, unsuspected. Alright, where's the pile? There's the pile. Take all that. My health is taking a beating. I'm only about halfway to the next level too. Ugh. I gotta be getting close. Hey, another tablet. What does this one say? The fledging spirits of men were strong in old times. Unafraid to war with dragons and their voices, but the dragons only shouted them down and broke their hearts. Oh, where's the lovin'? Who's the lovin'? Alright, I heard a fucking bear. I am going to proceed with caution. My luck is right on the other side of these hills where I gotta be going soon. But uh, the few troubles I've had so far, I am not gonna take any chances. All right, so far so good. I think I lost count how many steps I've been up so far. I gotta be getting close, right? Alright, there's a person there. No bear, just a person. Keep it. Cain called on Paxthunox, Parthunox, who pitied man. Together they taught men to use the voice. Then dragon war rage. Dragon against tongue. For wolves if you're headed up the path to High wolves I have no problem with. It's all those other li little creatures like those ice wraith, the um, snow bears, the trolls. Those little things that are just going to be like tough to kill. All right, I see you, troll. Really? It did not do that much damage? There we go. That would have been a bitch to kill. Etched uh, stone tablet thingy. What does this one say? Men prevailed, shouting Alduin out of the world, proving for all that their voice was too strong, although their sacrifices were many fold.
I'm just gonna sneak the rest of the way because I'm not even halfway up the goddamn mountain. Holy shit, this is gonna be a long ass journey. I should have brought like camping supplies. I could have gone camping. With roaring tongues, the Sky Children conquered, founding the first empire with sword and voice, whilst the dragons withdrew from this world. All right. I gotta be getting close. We're getting ran weird, like pillar structures. Ooh, another tablet over there. Get going. I just don't want to alert anything if there's something hiding. The tongues at Red Mountain went away humbled. Jurgen Windcaller began his seven year meditation to understand how strong voices could fail. Alright, maybe I'm getting close. I gotta be getting close. I haven't seen a mob or enemy in a while. Jargon Windcaller chose silence in return. The 17 disputants could not shout him down. Jargon the Calm built his home on the throat of the world. Alright. So, a powerful man meditated for a while, decided not to talk. And built this home on the throat of the world. The world's got to be tough breathing then. Oh, hey, look. I finally made it. Oh, another tablet. This must be the last one. For years all silence, the gray beard spoke w one name. Hyber Septim. Stripling then it was summoned to High Rothgard. They blessed and named him Dova King. God, the closer we get, the more tablets there are. The voices worship follow the inner path, speak only in true need. Voice of the sky added what? Um active effects Anim animals will neither attack nor flee from you huh all right um we needed to what i think it's under miscellaneous yep those are supplies store those all right hi rothgar here we go Dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. First, let us see if you truly are Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Okay, I need to do unrelenting force. Wrong button. Wrong button. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna unlock that. The power of your voice. Boost! Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Okay. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have you come here? We are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the dragon blood that came before you. 
You are not the first. There have been many of the dragon blood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. All right, that's at least good to know. The only dragon born of this age. That is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid? I should have discipline, I hope. That remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon okay. gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will be got one. progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Gro, a second word in unrelenting force. Gro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Gro. Alright, so, uh. You can make words appear on the floor, apparently. Practice well, makes perfect. Learn shouts. As dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einard will allow you to tap into his understanding of role. That is just creepy as fuck, sir. your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Alright. Okay, got the next one. Let's go. Again. Again? Okay, let's get to the next one. You learn quickly. Once more. I may have discipline, but I am very lacking in patience. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragon. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Follow him. Okay, where am I following him? Do 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 do. People are slow. Okay, courtyard. Wait, does that mean I'm going to be making whirlwinds? Like tornadoes and that shit? You must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a storm. Come on. 
Now I'm going to need to approach Master Vori and he will gift you his knowledge of wood. I need to select that one I know. Alright, demonstrate the whirlwind sprint. Oh, it's a sprint! Now we will see how quickly you can master a new shot. Master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Alright. Master Bori. Now, your turn. It's a teleportation. And next to me, Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. <laughs> your quick mastery of a new film is. Uh, oh, thank you. I'm a natural. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself? You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengrad. Remain true to the way of the voice. You will return. All right. No doubt, the appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. All right. There is indeed much that we know that you do not. That does not mean that you are ready to understand it. Do not let your I'm on an important mission here, sir. Into the arrogance of power. That has been the downfall of many dragonborn before you. Okay. Dragons have the inborn ability to learn and project their voice. Dragons also are able to absorb the power of their slain brethren. A few mortals are born with similar abilities, whether a gift or a curse has been a matter of debate down through the centuries. What you have already learned in a few days took even the most gifted of us years to achieve. Some believe that dragonborn are sent into the world by the gods at times of great need. We will speak more of that later, when you are ready. Come on! Okay. Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinneret granted us the ability to speak as dragons do. For most people, long years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. But for you, the dragon speech is in your blood, and you learn it almost without effort. Well, that's pretty good. Hmm? Five. Our leader, Parthenax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. As I said, you will know you are ready when your voice can open the path to him. We study the way of the voice according to the teachings okay. of the founder, Jürgen Winkler. I'm only doing this because knowledge is power. Study with us here at High Hrothgar. But in your case, Dragonborn, it is a privilege to guide you towards mastery of your voice. The voice was a gift of the goddess Kinner. At the dawn of time, she gave mortals the ability to speak as dragons do. Although this gift has often been misused, the only true use of the voice 
is for the worship and glory of the gods. True mastery of the voice can only be achieved when your inner spirit is in harmony with your outward actions. In the contemplation of the sky, Kinnereth's domain, and the practice of the voice, we strive to achieve this balance. All right. That is commendable. Your destiny requires you to use your voice. Why else would Akatosh have bestowed this power upon you? I don't know. You remember to use your voice in service. Did I piss them off or something? That's probably what it is. Will remain true to the way. He was a great war leader of the ancient Nords. After the disaster at Red Mountain, where the Nord army was annihilated, he spent many years pondering the meaning of that terrible defeat. He finally hmm. came to realize that the gods had punished the Nords for their arrogant and blasphemous misuse of the voice. He ah. was the first to understand that the voice could be used solely for the glory and worship of the gods, not the glory of men. Okay, Jordan that makes sense. Jordan mastery of the voice eventually overcame all opposition, and the way of the voice was born. Alright. That's probably after I do the whole horn thing. But, I made it up here. I'm happy. Alright. Um, let's go to the right Windhelm.